In today's video, I've got another Christmas special for you where we are going to be using Python's Turtle module to code up this Christmas tree. To get started today, we're going to need to open up our Python editor. I'm using Mew. And once you've started a new file, the first line of code that you want to type in is simply from Turtle import star, which basically says from the Turtle uh, module, which is the library of code, we're going to import all the functions inside of it to allow us to draw on the screen. Now the first function I'm going to call up from that library is called speed. And I'm going to set that to zero. So that just means our turtle is drawing on the screen at the quickest speed possible. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a blue circular background in. So I'm just going to put in a hashtag here and write a comment. And it says blue background. Now what I want to do first of all is um, move to my set coordinates where I want this circle to start drawing. So I need to call up a function called pen up, which is going to lift my turtle up off the page. Um, if I was to leave it down on the page and I move to these coordinates, a line would follow the turtle. So I don't want that. So I need to lift my pen up off the page. I'll then use the go to function to move to the set coordinates. So for the x axis, I'm going to stay at zero, which leaves me in the middle of the page. And for the y-axis, I'm going to choose minus 250, which moves me down the page. Uh, once I'm in position, I'm going to call the pen down function up, which basically says the pen's back down on the page, or the turtle's back down on the page, ready to start drawing. Um, so once that pen is in position, we can choose the color we want for our circle, which is going to be light sky blue in this case. And we're going to turn begin fill on, so that just says the shape we're about to draw will need to be filled in. Um, so the shape that we're drawing is a circle. So all we need to do there is write the word circle and in brackets write the radius size. So 250 pixels. Once you're done drawing the shape, make sure you turn the end fill function on. Okay, that just says we're going to start filling in the shape below here, which is the circle. And now we're going to stop filling in the shape. Okay, let's give that a test run. So you'll need to save your document first of all. So I'm just going to save this and call us X, call it Xmas tree, Christmas tree. Give it a run and you've got your blue circular background. Just remember this little fiddly bit at the bottom here that you can see is just um, the turtle itself, the little thing that draws all the images on the page. We can hide him at the end of our code. So don't worry about that little, um, like little tail you can see down there at the bottom. That's just the turtle. All right, so we've got our blue background in. Let's make a bit of space down below here now, and we'll start drawing the tree. So I'm going to put in a, another comment here, and I'm going to say tree trunk. I'm going to lift my pen back up off the page and go to a new set of coordinates. I want to go to minus 15 for the x-axis, which is just a little bit to the left of center, and then minus 50 for the y-axis, which is moving us a little bit down the page. Once in position, we'll call, the, call up the function pen down, We'll set our color to the color we want for the trunk of the tree, which is going to be brown. And we'll turn on our fill. Now what I want to do here is just draw a little rectangle for the trunk of the tree. So to do that, you probably know this from previous um, videos, we use a for loop to create a rectangle. So we're going to say for i in range 2, put a colon. And on the next line, you'll see your mouse cursor is indented. And that's basically the computer saying, um, this is the code we need to repeat two times. Okay, so I'm going to draw half a rectangle and then repeat it a second time to get a full rectangle. So let's do it. We're going to go forward 30 steps. We're going to turn right at 90 degrees. Then we're going to go forward 40 steps and then right 90 degrees. So that there would draw me half a rectangle. And this indented code will be repeated twice because we said that in this line here. That range of two says we need to repeat all the indented code below two times. Once that has um, finished running twice, we just want to jump out of that loop by moving our mouse cursor back to the start of the line. So back over here. And we're going to put in the um, line of code that says end fill. So that should fill in our tree trunk with that brown color we chose just before. Let's have a look. Okay, it looks good. So that is the start of our Christmas tree. And again, that little shape you can see there is just the turtle. Don't worry about that. We will make it disappear later on. All right, so let's start doing the actual part of the tree now. So the green part, basically, I suppose the leaves or the branches, whatever you want to call it. Okay, so I'm going to put in a 
comment here and we're going to say set the start position whoops and the initial tree width okay so we're going to set up a few variables here first one i want to set up is the y value and that's going to be set to minus 50. okay it's basically where that tree trunk is at the moment um, the width that I want this first layer of my tree to be, so that green layer that we saw in the example, I want it to be set to 240 steps, and the height is going to be a lot smaller at 25. Okay, so with these three variables now, we can start to draw the different um, green layers of the tree. It's going to start quite big at the bottom and then gradually get smaller as it goes up, like you'd expect from a um, Christmas tree. All right, so... Let's put in another hashtag and we'll just say green section of tree. I'll make a bit of room down here now so we can um, see what's going on. We're going to use a loop. I'm going to say while the width, so this variable up here, while the width is greater than 20, put a colon. We're going to do a few things here. Okay, so we're going to write width equals width minus 30. Okay, so if we're going to put a hashtag there just to explain this line of code, it's basically making the tree, I'm just going to say make the tree get smaller as it goes up in height. Okay, easy. Um, so on the next line, we're going to do x equals 0 minus width divided by 2. Okay, I know that sounds a bit confusing, but if you put another comment in here, it says set the starting value, or the starting x value. This is where we start drawing each of our rectangles um, of each level of the tree. Okay, I want to zoom back a bit here so you can see these comments a bit, a bit better. There we go. So, these two lines are probably the most confusing in our code. But basically, we've set up the width of the green layers that we're going to do in our tree. Okay, and each time it goes up, we're going to take 30 pixels or 30 steps off the width. And eventually, it'll get down to somewhere around 20, and that's when we stop drawing our tree. Okay, this line here just sets the start position for each layer or each level on our tree. It's gradually getting smaller. Okay, so we have to move our x value. Um, to just cater for that as we go up the tree. Once we got that little calculation sorted, and I was a bit of confusing maths there, but I did it before I made this video, and that's how I just pulled it out off the top of my head. Um, what I'm going to do now is just set my color to green. This is going to be the color of the tree. And we're going to move to our set coordinates. So let's lift our pen up. We're going to x, comma, y. Okay, remember we've got our x just here. And we've got our y value just here. Okay, once we go there, we can put our pen down, we turn our fill on, and we're good to go. So again, we're just drawing rectangles. Okay, so let's use another for loop. So for i in range 2, let's draw half a rectangle. So we're going to go forward, and instead of typing in a number here, we're going to use the width variable. There's the width up there. Easy. Once we've... Um, Got that in, we just turn left 90 degrees, and then we go forward, the height variable. So at the moment, the height variable is set to 25. Whoops, I forgot the equal sign there. Actually, you've got height equals 25 there. Okay, so we've got width 240, height 25. So that's what we're substituting into our formulas just here. Um, on the next line, we just need to turn left 90 degrees just to finish off that half of the rectangle. Okay, so those four lines there, we'll draw half a rectangle. And because we said to repeat the indented code twice, those four lines will run a second time to complete off a whole rectangle. Okay, once you're done, just back out of that loop and choose end fill. Okay, so that should color in the different layers of the tree green. Okay, if I run that now, it's not going to quite work. Let's just have a look. It's just going to keep doing them over and over again on top of this one here happened very quickly, but basically it drew all the different layers of the tree straight on top of this original layer. Okay, and the reason being is our Y value is stuck on minus 50. What we want to do is we want to bump it up 
the same as the height of that green rectangle each time it is drawn. So after that end fill, what you need to do is write y equals y plus height. Okay, so it's basically looking at the height of each layer in the tree and just um, adding that onto our y value. So we just keep going up and up and up the page. Okay, so I might put in another comment here just to explain that. So keep drawing the levels of the tree higher than the previous. Alright, so if you have a look now, we should get most of our tree drawn. There we go. So that's looking pretty good. Now to finish it off, I think we need to put a little yellow star at the top there. Okay, so let's go back to our code now. I might put in a comment that says star. Quite an easy one. Uh, we need to lift our pen up first of all off the page and go to some new coordinates. The coordinates are minus 15 for the x value and 150 for the y value. Once in position, put your pen down. Set your color to whatever you want the star to be. In my case, I'm going with yellow. And I'm going to turn on my fill and draw a star. So for I in range 5. I'm going to do this time, so five points on the star, so I'm going to do a loop five times. We're going to go forward 30 pixels, and then we're going to turn right 144 degrees. And that should draw a star for us. If we just jump out of that loop and turn off the fill, we can test it out and see if we get a yellow star at the top of our tree. Bingo, that looks good. All right, so to finish off with, let's just stick a little um, Christmas message at the bottom that says Merry Christmas, and we'll hide our turtle, and we'll be finished. So let's just put another comment down the bottom that says Message. Now to do the message, we need to um, lift our pen up off the page again, and go to one final set of coordinates, which is going to be minus 130, which is over to the left-hand side of the page, and minus 150 for the Y value which moves us down the page. So we're down in the bottom left area at the moment. Now the colour for your text, uh, which is a Christmas colour, so let's roll with red. And to write a message on the page, we use the write function. So just write in the word write, open up a bracket, and put in quotation marks the message you want to appear across the page. Someone's going to say Merry Christmas. Now you can format that text, just put a comma, and write font equals and choose whatever font you want. I'm going to put in brackets. I'm going to write Arial. I know that's installed on most people's computers, so that one will work well. Put a comment and choose the uh, sorry a comma and choose the size next. And finally, I'm going to put in quotation marks bold. And then I'm going to close off two sets of brackets at the end. Okay, so remember we've got two brackets at the end, one bracket here, one bracket here. Okay, so that will write the message Merry Christmas in red, Arial font, size 20 and bold at the bottom of that blue circle. Last thing I want you to do is just put in the um, line of code that says hide turtle, bracket, bracket. Okay, that calls up a function which will hide the little pointy turtle that we saw before. So let's give that a save and a run and we should be finished. Let's have a look. There you have it. So we made ourselves a cool little um, Christmas tree app using Python's turtle module.